Okay, let's code up our image gallery. So select your keyframe and go to Window, Actions, or just open your Action Script window. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, you can see I have line numbering on here. If you want line numbering on, use the subselect menu and turn on line numbers. Also, I have word wrap activated. Okay, first thing we're going to need to do is import some packages of um, flash tools, uh, flash classes, methods, functions, properties that we're going to need for the image gallery. So we're going to import flash dot uh, display dot loader. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to import flash dot net dot URL loader. No, not URL loader. URL request. Okay. And I'm going to need semicolons at the end of these lines. All right. Import flash dot events dot let's see here event import flash dot display dot let's see here sprite and import flash dot events dot mouse event okay and then I'll put a space here so very important now when we when we write action script I want to make sure that syntax is very important if there's a dot between the letters there needs to be a dot uh, period if there's a space like here uh, in between here there needs to be a space if I say there's a semicolon at the end there needs to be a semicolon at the end so um, if you put uh, if there's a capital letter needed and you put a lowercase in a variable your codes not gonna work so um, you can't have typos or um, syntax problems or grammatical errors in your action script code and expect it to work so just right off the bat um, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and we're gonna declare a variable but let's see a variable images named images and this variable is actually gonna get a colon and we're going to uh, data type it to an array okay so we say variable array uh, variable images and it's going to be an array and then we're just gonna create our array right here array is an array is like a um, set it's like a set or a list of elements right and in here in this array will be all of our images that we're gonna use for our image gallery okay and as you can see I've already started typing in the images for my gallery so within quotation marks I've got image 1.jpg image 2.jpg image 3 and I'm just gonna paste in here two more and change the numbers okay and there are my five images I don't need this final comma there so um, in between in between quotation marks image 1.jpg image 2.jpg now these names are the names of the files in my images folder so as you can see here I've got image 1 image 2 image 3 right so if I want to add more images to my gallery what I'll need to do is in my code if I added another image I would need to add it here as well okay so that's just a quick little something there okay next I'm also gonna declare two more variables I'm gonna declare a variable called thumb X and I'm gonna put a capital X there instead thumb X which is going to be a number notice the capital N notice the capital A for array notice how it turns blue because it's actually a class in ActionScript so if it's class it, it turns blue if it's just the, the variable name it's black right that I've made up so I made this up thumb X Var variable thumb X number and I'm gonna make it equal to 15 and this is gonna help me place my thumbnails on the X and Y axis on the stage right 
and I'll just copy this and paste that there and I'm going to change that to capital Y so those variables will help me with my X and Y placement of my thumbnails on the stage okay then the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go two lines down and I'm going to say loader capital M C now loader MC accesses the movie clip that's supposed to show the images right loader MC so if you go here select this you can see that that's loader MC right so I'm I'm accessing this movie clip right here okay so I say loader MC and then inside of loader MC is the component which has a name of loader so that's dot syntax right there and so um, loader MC dot loader right which is the name I gave it now it turned blue so that could be a problem later but we'll see dot load right and then here this will load an image so when we first get to the page we want to load an image so we'll say put a semicolon there at the end load new URL capital U capital R capital L and this will be a URL request and then we'll give it the path notice the nested parentheses here we're gonna have to give it the path to the image we want to load and we'll just say inside of quotation marks images forward slash image one dot JPEG okay so this one will load an initial image into our image loader so right now I don't see anything in this code that should cause problems so we could save it and hit control enter to test it out so we test it out and something is not working correctly okay this gives us a chance to troubleshoot our code so compiler errors when we made the flash movie there's some errors it tells us what's going wrong scene one action layer frame 85 line 14 line 16 line 17 okay I have a feeling of what this might be frame 85 let's go there well frame 85 is where I placed my code that I wanted to stick over here until I needed it well guess what it's an exact duplicate of what I'm typing on the other page so I don't want to write the same variables twice and declare them twice and all that jazz so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comment all of this out so that it doesn't interfere so I'm gonna type forward slash and then an asterisk and that will comment everything I'll go all the way to the bottom and type an asterisk and then a forward slash and now this is all all this code has been commented out and should not function now if we go back to our I'll click back on gallery back on our code there we go now if I hit control enter on the keyboard should work and looks like it will there it goes so now if we go to gallery we can see our initial image is loaded into our image loader um, our um, movie clip and then inside of our movie clip our UI loader component is loading the first image automatically so when a user first gets here they'll be able to see something